Hello pilots, this is Dave from Retired Time Productions and today we're going to look at the Runcam Split Mini. So what is the Runcam Split Mini? Welcome to Retired Time Productions. This has a 20 by 20 millimeter format instead of the larger 30 by 30 and it's made to fit on micro quads or small mini quads. Could also be used for an RC plane but the main thing about it is it will record 1080p 60 frames a second through this camera while at the same time providing an FPV feed to your goggles or ground station monitor. So what is FPV? Just to mention what it actually is, it's first person view or friggin pilot view, whatever you want to call it. It's like you're sitting in the cockpit of the aircraft while you're flying but you're really on the ground. Just thought I'd mention that in case there's some new people around that never looked into FPV. So on this micro quad here I actually have a bid eye camera mounted on here which is similar to the Runcam Split Mini in the fact that it has two boards. It's able to record in 1080p plus it's able to put out an FPV video feed in 640x480. But the big difference with this camera is it's not split up between the camera and the circuit boards. So with the run cam split you can actually mount the provided circuit boards which come in a stack of two and mount them onto your standoffs and your mini quad then all you have to do is mount the camera up in front. So this means it can go on some very small quads. Unfortunately this quad here has the 30 by 30 format and it will not accept this particular run cam split which is the mini version. If I went to the regular version I could do it. Uh, this board here is actually designed for micro quads. So if you have a small micro quad either like a 2 inch or 3 inch you could probably mount it on there. I've seen that the uh, Furry B140, for example, would be a good fit for this setup. So a couple of quick questions that people often ask about this board is, and uh, you can see I can just pinch the two halves together, but one question is do they require standoffs, and it is true you do get standoffs in the pack, and you can use the ones that come with it. You can use these long screws. They are options, you don't have to use these, but you can mount your board just using these hardware pieces on most mini quads that it will fit on, or micro quads. You just need room above the stack to fit these boards. And another question is, does it have wide dynamic range, or WDR? And the, and the answer is yes, it does, and you can turn that on and get some pretty vivid video. Another question is what happens if you finish recording and you forget to press the, the power button here to stop the recording? Will you lose your video? And the answer is no. This one actually does save the video if you unplug the power to it. So that is a good feature. Uh, another question is what about the audio? So the audio on this one is not stereo. I think the original split had stereo audio. This is not this is mono audio. May not be quite as good quality as the original one but usually you don't need great audio when you're just hearing the motor noises from your quad. Another question about the split mini is does it have an audio line out that you can connect to your video transmitter so you can hear the audio at the ground station or your goggles. As far as I know it does not have an audio line out and the audio is just recorded on the SD card. Another question is does it have Wi-Fi and there's been some talk about whether it does or it doesn't and I think it's been cleared up by Runcam that this one does not support Wi-Fi so if you're going to change the settings you have to use these buttons here to go ahead and go through the menus that way and change the settings or you can set up a couple of switches on your radio to act as these buttons and then you can use your RC radio to go ahead and select it and that can be done through clean flight or beta flight. So in the next video we'll talk about how to assemble the split mini and wire it up to your flight controller so stay tuned for that video.